I was going through a burnout at some point, juggling between working, studying and running here and there. Because like I had to use a lot of my energy teaching children and at night I have to do my shows and I decided to like, like okay, I just got to focus on one and I chose music. Inviting. I hope you've been behaving. Yes, I'm humbled to have you. <laughs> you sure not. Hi, my name is Keda. I'm a rapper, singer, songwriter, uh, and I've been around for six years now professionally. I grew up in a musical environment where my parents are very well known in the music industry as well. They've been around for 30 years, and I was fortunate enough to be able to like also learn from them ever since I was young. I was teaching for two years. Um, why I chose to teach was because when I was studying psychology in uni, in my last year, our lecturers actually encouraged us to teach at a refugee school. So that's how I fell in love with teaching and like getting to know all these children and how they were developing themselves. So as soon as I graduated, I wanted to continue teaching. So I became a kindergarten teacher at a, a local school and as my music was also um, improving, I had no time to try to juggle between teaching and singing so I had to choose just one and I chose to focus more on music full time. Uh, I would say it wasn't easy but at the same time it wasn't something new to me because like when I was in uni I was also studying for my grade 8 piano exam I was working part-time as a PR and marketing assistant I was already used to juggling between working studying and running here and there like keeping myself very active you know I was going through a burnout at some point because like I had to use a lot of my energy teaching children and at night I have to do my shows and also I have to like you know go for fittings and rehearsals and photo shoots and all those stuff as soon as my shows were starting to like come in like more often I decided to like macam okay I just got to focus on one and I chose music by juggling two careers, it has definitely taught me a lot of patience. It taught me to be even more focused, hardworking, disciplined, and mostly a lot of sabar. Lah. Yeah, that's what I have to say. I am the sort of person who likes to do different things every day. It's not like I wanted to quit teaching just for the sake of quitting and because I love music more. I feel like the professionalism that I have as a public figure, as an artist, I can still influence and um, inspire um, the youth and younger children on how they can, you know, um, develop themselves in terms of like having more confidence, having higher self-esteem and many, many other positive things that I can actually teach them by being a musician. Where do I see myself in five years? Um, I would like to do more for myself, for the music industry, and for the younger generation. I want to write songs for people. I want to produce songs for people. I want to reach out to the youth more and through my music and 
help as many people as I can and to ins inspire people that, hey, you can actually achieve your goal if you do it this way and be more positive and you believe in yourself. Through um, Universal Sound Experiment, I believe that I can reach out to more people who need help or if I need help from them, it gives me a lot more options, you know, instead of just like working with the same people that I already know. Have you ever had to juggle between doing well in your music and your day job? Have you ever felt like your song is never finished? Have you ever struggled in finding your right audience? Have you ever dreamt of collaborating with international artists, but not sure how? Have you ever run out of ideas when creating new music? Use is providing solutions for audiences and creators at the same time. Newstream, a project by Use, connecting creators from all over the world. My advice for people who want to juggle two careers, I would say go for it. Don't be afraid because like the only thing that's stopping you is yourself most of the time. So yeah, face your fear, um, stay disciplined, focus on your goal and I believe that anyone can do it. Alright, last but not least, I have 10 easy peasy questions for you. Just answer the Better be that, easy. Yeah, just answer the ones that you like. Country or metal? Country. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Love Nicki, but Cardi has better humor. <laughs> Dancing or singing? Both. Purple or blonde? Blonde. Makeup or clothes? Clothes. Women or men? Women, duh. <laughs> 2015 or 2018? 2018. Gaga or Mr. Red? Gaga or Mr. Red? Gaga. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Brother or sister? Sorry, uh, sister. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last but not least, mom or dad? Man, do I really have to choose? Well, you chose your sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't that different? Uh? I, I, I want, I want to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's fair enough. I would choose my grandma. Use.